any new rhythm that you're trying to get into, you got to force it at first. Any new rhythm or habit or routine that you are starting doesn't come naturally or easy. You actually have to work at that thing a little bit. Now, and the reason why I waited until the week six to tell you, because I, I need you to get in a different mindset, because at the heart of it, this is not a work, it's not a duty, it's a delight, it's a relationship. But, but if you come away with Jesus and walk with him enough, it may, this whole like prayer and fasting thing, we're talking about a rhythm of prayer and fasting. For some of you never fasted before, and that was work. That was work. To discipline yourself to pray and, and, and this whole silence and solitude and actually stopping for a day and disciplining that. And a, a discipline of devotion and rhythm of devotion. and These things, you got to force it a little bit at first, right? You do, but it's not supposed to stay that way. After you, you, you're walking in that and you're developing the new habits and the new routine, it, it, it's supposed to be this unforced rhythm of grace. But I just want you to know here at week six doesn't mean it's not hard it doesn't mean it doesn't take work it doesn't mean to start these new habits and new routines and and new rhythms that it's not going to take a little discipline because because it does to do it but 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 you get close enough i'm telling you it's not going to stay there at this forced discipline it's going to become the cadence of your life it's going to become the unforced rhythm of grace 